place where we like to think economic development interests of our local government, our local chamber of commerce, and our university all converge. It's a coalition like no other, bound by the common purpose to recruit high-tech and life science jobs or companies that produce jobs and really drive our local economy and the, the commerce of the state of Kansas. EDA supports locally driven strategies designed to spur private investment and create jobs. And so I'm pleased to be here with you to share some really good news. Uh, I am pleased to announce today that EDA is investing $7.8 million in the university's Bioscience and Technology Business Center to build a new facility to increase entrepreneurial and research opportunities in the bioscience and technology sector. Bringing people together to do something that changes the nature of our state. The goal in my view that we should have is to make certain that those we educate and those we raise in our state, no matter what careers they want to pursue, that they have those opportunities in the state of Kansas. It's also an opportunity for us to highlight the importance of entrepreneurship. And so combining the technology and the business nature of this center to put entrepreneurship and research and science and technology together means that Kansas can have a brighter future. The University of Kansas is a perfect place for this to be highlighted and for it to be encouraged. This really is a great day for the BTBC, for the university and for our entire region as we have done what we set out to do, which is to create new companies and to create an opportunity for established companies to come and have a relationship with our university, with our students and with our researchers. We conduct more than $260 million worth of externally funded research each year. And out of that, really creates new cures, new products, new technologies that also help enhance lives and grow our economy. It really is a unique collaboration that, that you, we have not seen anywhere else in the country, actually, a collaboration of our university, our city, our county, and our chamber of commerce. We are excited and very appreciative to have the Kansas Department of Commerce and the U.S. Economic Development Administration join us in this very important effort. Thank you. They're recruiting innovative private industry to help build a stronger, more modern, and more resilient local economy, and to provide opportunities for KU skilled graduates to remain in the local workforce and contribute to the Lawrence and Douglas County economy and community. Our state's universities and colleges are massive economic engines in their communities and in the state. They drive innovation, they create jobs, and they nurture the next generation of thinkers. The BTBC is a great example of how our schools are taking a dynamic approach to expanding their footprint in their communities. By building our state's high-tech and bioscience industry clusters around the many strengths of KU, the Phase Three expansion will further the BTBC's mission and the mission of my administration to create a local infrastructure of talent, resources, and business support that fosters sustainable economic resiliency in our state. It is a great day to be a Kansan, an even better day to be a Jayhawk. <laughs>